等一下，你过来剪子，给我弄好一点。你弄好，你没问题啊。OK 的。对，你的衣服啥的都没问题，都可以。是吧？我我看不见他们说话，要不这样来吧，翻过来。是吧？我也觉得你确实这样子。Guys, please give us a few minutes because、um, we're. Wait a minute. Hello, everyone. Thank you for、uh, spare the, sparing the time to join this live stream. How have you guys been? It's been a long time since we we last the、uh, streaming live here. Hey, Dylan! Thank you for for taking the time to join this live stream. We have been kind of busy because、um, my wife Serena is due next month.、Uh, Serena is due、um, on the twelfth of、uh, November, so、uh, we're kind of busy. And、uh, can you guys hear me? Okay. Let's get cracking. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Iske has changed my life.、Uh, before I start Iske business, I was, you know, a bachelor, single. But、um, after I start this business, I I made some money. I made some money, not quite a lot, but、um, yeah, easy.、Uh, I mean, make more than I am, you know,、uh, than I was working for other company. So I was very blessed to meet a girl when I was on the trip to test our boards. How have you guys been? Is the coronavirus still affecting your life? I hope everyone is、uh, vaccinated, so that、uh, you are having some protection against the virus. Star Pony eighty four, thank you, thank you for coming. Hi Tom, thank you for coming. It's been a long time since we last stream on this account. What's the popping here? New product release? No,、nope. not new product release.、Uh, just because we are、uh, kind of silent for quite a while, so we. Kind of want to stream here to you、um, talk with our customer to talk with our user, you know.、Um, maybe you guys can get us some, you know,、uh, some advice on our new boards. We do have a new board coming. We're making a new board which is running fifty、uh, amps on the board. That is a bigger version for the RS Pro. That is twelve S, five four P, 
12S4P with a back 5,000 milliamp power battery cells, and that board is gonna run with 50 amps uh, continuously. We have some new friends in this live. Thank you for taking the time. This is a good public relation. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Can you guys hear me okay? Because I was I am switching to another mic. And this mic is very small. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear me okay. So if you can hear me clear, can you, can you give me some feedback so I know this is a good good one to switch. The RS has been real nice so far, but with the base battery model will only last 60 miles at constantly 30 miles per hour. Loud and clear, that's nice. Yeah, uh, the base battery model, uh, that is a 16 amp hour battery pack and that's gonna give you 60 miles at constantly 30 miles per hour. That's not good. That's not bad, I'm sorry. That's not bad because uh, 30 miles per hour, that's a very you know high speed. At that kind of speed, you can get 16 miles. That's not a bad number to have. Thank you, thank you for for the feedback. So I know that um, this is a good one to switch. <sighs> We're making a new board uh, with this with 12s 4p uh, 21700 uh, back 5000 milliamp power battery cells. Um, what kind of you know uh, expectations you guys would like to have, or uh, things that you you guys would like to have on that board? So just kind of advice can you guys give me? Yes, perfectly. Considering upgrading, but thank you for the clarification. Well, uh, I think upgrading is really depending on your your needs if you're you're really i mean uh very active in the group rides and you you need to upgrade to a bigger battery pack but if you are just you know uh riding for fun every day just to uh do the commute i i don't think you need to upgrade to a 20 amp hour battery pack because your daily commutes would be you know uh, enough to have just 16 miles but if you are active uh, goer for the group rides you, you need to upgrade to 20 in power battery pack because I know I heard uh, as far as I'm I'm concerned the group rides are getting longer and f longer What would be the rank, estimates range for the new board that's coming out? Well, um, I have no idea because I have not put a board on the road for a range test. But um, I think it will be 55 up to 60, probably uh, 60 kilometers. 12 as uh, 4P. And that's gonna be a um, 20 amp power battery pack, and that 20 amp power battery pack is having higher voltage, and uh, the one hour is gonna be uh, over 860 watt hours. So I think it's safe to say that you're gonna get uh, over 60 kilometers out of that board, but um, it all depends. Be depends on your weight. Depends on a lot of other factors so um, we will have to see uh, when the board is ready and we're gonna put it on the road for the wrench test flexi deck maybe no no uh, because the next board with 12s 4p 
20 amp hour battery pack it also gonna have a much higher top speed I I took the board for a spin early today uh, which the board can do 41 miles per hour without load but um, I did not have the gut to you know to 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 maximize um, to to go the go for the top speed because um, without low you can get 41 miles per hour um, if I'm a person who weighs 70 kilometers so um, it is probably uh, gonna be 55 over 55 um, kilometers per hour so this is a very you know high speed I I can't I, I do not have the guts to go for that kind of speed so but uh, the top speed could be much higher so you're gonna be able to expect uh, more range for the next four and also a much higher top speed probably over 55 kilometers per hour flexi deck no no that's not gonna be a flexi deck double drop deck uh, well let me tell you this um, the next four is just a very slightly improved version of the RS Pro we're making bigger deck the deck uh, let me show you the deck So the next four is gonna be a slightly improved RS Pro. Uh, we're making the same shape deck, but this deck is 26 centimeters wide, and also it's gonna be a 38 inch deck. So um, we're making a carbon fiber enclosure to house that 48, 21, 700 battery cells. And the motor could be a a high performance motor by uh, Dongxin Wei. Uh, it is could be the same 6368, but it could be a high performance version because it has to uh, undergo. Uh, it has to you know uh, take 25 amps per motor. Uh, two motors that's gonna be 50 amps uh, continuously. Uh, the the biggest continuous uh, current for the ESC is 50 amps and we can also do 100 amps but uh, if we're doing that uh, that gonna leave us very limited choices for the battery cells Bella new battery setup is this the R is this for R uh, for Pro or for the RS which board setup will disappear? RS and RS Pro will continue to exist for sales on our websites. It will not disappear. The new board, the 12S 4P board is gonna be a RS Pro um, Max or X. Uh, we have to name that later on. We need something totally new from the RS and RS Pro. So starting with the deck needs to be different. We do have a board which is already in the making for several months and that's going to be 12 as 5P and going to be using hobby wind motors, the 6370 hobby wind motors and also uh, the smart learning hobby wind ESC which is uh, 9028 and that's going to be 
uh, released next year, not this year. Release dates for the new board. Uh, Hard to say, hard to say. I, I I can't tell you any exact dates for the release uh, of the new board. Bring the deck fully in picture. So basically, this is a longer version and a longer and wider version of the current RS deck. It is 38 inch and 26 centimeters wide. Previously, the RS and RS Pro is built with a 23.5 centimeters wide deck, and this one is. Uh, widened to 26 centimeters and also uh, the previous RS and RS Pro is uh, are using 36 inch deck because we have to fit in a 12S 4P battery pack using the 21700 battery cells so we have to make this deck longer and also wider so that we can uh, build a a bigger enclosure to house the 4821700 cells. Yeah, we only have five people here in this live stream. So the new 12S 4P battery is the same as RS and RS Pro, but with a bit different deck no, it's not the same battery pack. The 12S 4P battery pack is going to be using the same battery cells. Uh, the back 21700 5000 milliamp power battery cells used in the RS Pro. The, the 12S 5P board is totally different. It's totally different. Hi, Gibby. How are you? Guys, can I ask you guys a few questions? Um, we do have seeing the release of onboard zooms and also the meeple hur uh, hurricane do you guys uh, know do you guys have any ideas how those boards perform what do you guys what do you guys think of the hurricane and also the zooms by onboard Onboard's new board is running 40, 40 amps current on the board, and uh, Hurricane is uh, is running 70. <coughs> yes, not of my own knowledge. Hurricane and Zeus are next level, to be honest. Well, uh, yes, I have to say they are more powerful. Hurricane is is more powerful. Uh, is more powerful than Zooms. The Zooms runs forty amps, and is using Hobbywing motors and uh, Hobby not not Hobbywing motors. But it is um, it is Hobby Wing, the newest generation of Hobby Wing ERZ. 
if only I can write an RS Pro nice RS Pro is a good one I I write it I write it at the first speed mode and the first speed mode can launch you to 35 uh, not 35 31 32 kilometers per hour so that's pretty much for me and I I did twice I did a range test twice on the RS Pro and the first one I I got 46 kilometers the second one I got 48 kilometers <laughs> The Silent Ghost Reaper. What board are you currently riding? Shiver to you, it's hanging fans. They try new design and the take on GTR 2 in 1 style boards. It's not only the power, but the general package. Yes, in our 12 as 5P board, it's gonna be a whole new board. It's not gonna be RS line. The reason we have to do this 12 as 4P board is that I think for some heavy riders, the RS Pro currently running 15 amps, uh, 15 amp power battery pack isn't enough for them to get enough uh fun you know the the 15 amp uh, 15 amp power battery pack can get you you know uh can get me 46 48 kilometers at the first gear but some people ride very hard they ride you know um the fast mode on a on the highest speed mode and they cannot get that kind of range some may get like uh, 30 or 35 kilometers at the highest top speed. So we have to introduce the 12S4P to the RS Pro because we want to offer more range to our customer. You know what I mean. Okay. Coming to Eastgate, Eastgate Com. I can't get it. I don't get it. That's true. Good to have options. That's the great thing about Varia. Pulley options, battery options, price options. No other brand has that many options for the same pool. I get it. Yeah, we need something totally new. Yes, we will get something totally new for the community <laughs> Dylan what's the temperature like in your country and also Guys, what's the weather like in your countries? Is it good for, you know, riding Eastgate? Is it good for the Eastgate fun? We're coming into November. Here in China, we have to, you know, put more clothes, put on more clothes. So, yeah, not like summer. The summertime is gone. Uh, 
is it still good weather for you guys to ride electric skateboard? Okay. Right now, really bad. 10 Celsius degree, 10 degree Celsius, and raining all the time. The silent goes to Reaper. I believe if my memory serves me, we have done, we have do some, you know, video talking, and the. Uh, Hot, hot as shit here usually, but it is in the seventies Fahrenheit. Okay, good weather, good weather. Since last month, we're still uh, we're looking to expand our our presence on Amazon.com and Amazon.ca. Yeah, we, we we have some stock in Canada, and we are selling them on Amazon.ca. But uh, we didn't have much luck, so I was thinking maybe the weather is not allowing you know Eastgate. So, thank you for the feedback. So I know I was wrong. Feed in Canada, Eastgate can be until December. That's a good thing. I think in some part of the Canada, it is gonna be very, you know, very cold in November. Back to the silence goes to Ripper. I think we have chatted in a video call but um, yeah we respected your decision and things like that so we hope in the future that we can work together Thank you for coming to this live stream. <sighs> I'm doing this live stream just want to have some talk with our users, our customer, and maybe to get some advice for our next board. If you guys have questions or things to say, please enter on the screen so we can continue talking. Yes, we do. We ship boards to India, but um, the shipping could be very difficult um, and also very expensive. We shipped to India. I think we sold like three boards to India. Not many customers from India, that's true. And also the shipping could take up to two months. Uh, and the shipping is very expensive, so we will collect some fees from the customer to cover the custom fees and also the shipping cost. What feature would you like in the next variable? Uh, we, we will have this auto start like the you know uh, turn on the remotes and also turn on the board uh, with one single press and that's for uh, that's gonna be very common for for variable boards. 
even though we don't have that for uh, for RS for now, but in the future uh, we can add a feature of uh, smart uh, remote on app uh, on off. No, you don't have to. You don't have to pay custom. The custom fees is included in the shipping fees, which we collected when you check out. Thank you for coming to this live stream. Um, hope you guys are doing well in this season. <laughs> if any of you wants to have a board, wants to buy a Varia board, please let me know on the screen so I can get you a discount code. Do you guys have any new accessories? Well, uh, no, we do not have new accessories because my wife, Serena, is due next month. Um, I spent a lot of time uh, with her because that was that is my first baby, and uh, we did we we slacked off a little bit on work, which we have to uh, work harder after my wife uh, gives birth to our first baby. We do not have new accessory on our website, but we would to have some. Uh, new accessories like the handle, like a uh, a handle that people can 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 pull up the the board by you know a small uh, CNC milled parts can be installed on the front truck the the, the plate the base plate the base plate for the front truck so people can carry it. Uh, hope your family are well. Thank you, thank you, Nick. We are good. We are well. No, we're not gonna name the baby Varia. No, <laughs> I still have original V1 hop motor, old now, but still works. Replacing F1, now love hop hop boards. Yes, hop boards are good. Uh, quiet. We're not gonna name the baby Varia. So, <laughs> if any of you wants to give my baby a name. Well, that would be wonderful, because <laughs> because um, I don't have much knowledge of uh, giving baby names. Hop motors are very quiet and also very reliable. But if you want more power, more torque. You can try a belt driven board, then you will know it is so much fun, so much more powerful than the hop motor board. No, no. <laughs> Never gonna be RS for my kid, no. <laughs>
We have seven people in this live. Thank you for taking the time to spend a minute, a few or two with me. If you guys have questions about our new board or advice that you guys want to, to give us, please uh, spend a minute to type a few words on the screen so I can you know have something to talk about and also to 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 see uh, if we can take some advice I have bell and gear drive but hubs are so smooth and quiet that's true that's true guys what features you want in new models share your opinions with Vic Thank you, yes. If you guys want new features included in our new boards, our new generation boards, please enter on the screen so that we can know that what features are much expected by our customers. My first hop motor draw, uh, my first hop motor board is a Meeple 1.5. But um, after I, I tried the bell driven board, after I, I tried the bell driven board, I never, uh, I, I never went back to, you know, I never go back to hop motor board. Hop motor board is kind of, you know, less powerful less powerful and uh, it's sometimes you just want more on that board when you step on the board and to accelerate <coughs> built-in lights automatic board on automatic board on is already no problem it's already available altering off off-road board Exactly, no problem. We do have our, we already have our altering off-road board, uh, the Vero RS off-road and the Vero RS Pro off-road. I would love, I would love a flexi deck, a double drop, a double drop deck, keep the versatile support of pulleys, new deck shape, new design, keep this, stop to, the subtle branding, smart turn on feature like the Pro, collab with Riptide. Yes. Those are good advice. We do have the Nova lined up for release next year. Uh, the Nova has uh, modular design. And also, uh, it is able to to fit in a 12 s 4 p 18 650 battery cells. Double drop deck. Uh, we like the drop, the, the you know the drop down deck, but uh, we don't want to have you know the drop so obvious or so significant we want just a slight drop down die uh, drop down deck do you ever think about making do you ever think about making all wheel drive hop motor or uh, sir we actually um, switch all our attention to bell driven board now uh, we do have we do you know um, we were thinking about making a all-wheel drive bell driven board all-wheel drive rs but uh, that thought was killed because the altering wheel board uh, the rs altering mm, the RS all-wheel drive could be, you know, 
we have to fit in two ESC, two motors, and the battery could be very small because you have to power four motors. Even though that you gain more power with the board, but your range could be very short. So we killed that thoughts of a all-wheel drive Vario RS. Like a real mountain board, you mean? Can't wait for the Nova. Sometimes something new, and finally a super flexy, boosty style board. Bell drive. Yes. <coughs> that board is actually uh, ready. It's if we if we want to release it. The second half of this year, we can do that, but because uh, we have to send a lot of stocks to America, to Canada, to Germany, so those stock uh, ate, ate up a lot of cash. So we do not have uh, enough cash to stock up uh, boards for uh, Nova for uh, the the uh the whole uh, a few warehouses in germany and also in us so we want to uh release the nova next year because we don't have enough cash to to stock up uh, all the nova boards because nova we want to price it uh in a low side to the low side but um the the manufacturer costs are still not low, even though we want to price it low, but the costs are actually uh, kind of high. So we have to stock up a lot of boards uh, for the RS and RS Pro uh, for three warehouses uh, internationally. So we don't have enough cash to, to prepare for the Nova. A totally different approach but would be nice for a different audience what's nova nova is a boosted like is a boosted style board but with 12 s 4p battery pack and the range could be over 40 uh, probably uh, over 45 kilometers we got my ideas and also the ideas of a real mountain board Price will be pretty high then. Uh, Dylan, uh, let me let me be honest with you. Our interest of building a mountain board is very small, very very small. Because electric skateboard is already a very small niche, and uh, mountain board could be a a uh, small niche out of a small market so unless we see a very big demand for mountain board we would not make mountain boards it's a flexi boosted style belt driven board can't wait for it Riptide bushes are good. We were talking with them um, like a few months back, but um, uh, we did not continue talking with them. That was our fault. Uh, we maybe we, we we can work with them and to you know to pull off a collaboration with uh, with Riptide. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dylan. What about making something like Boosted Mini? Well, uh, <sighs> making something like Boosted Mini, that's a good, you know, a good idea. But um, 
the current resources we have is really uh, only able to allow us to make a evolved stoke style board we have all the resources we just have to you know make a deck and also to design a new enclosure for the for the stoke style board Really? <laughs> Can you explain your experiences with the Evolve Stoke? <sighs> Excuse me for one second. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Just the smaller, smaller wheel base is different from long boards. Okay. That makes it real fun in a turning new experiences. This with double king pin set up and nice bushings. A kick tail makes for a fun snappy and carvy board. Fun to close and carve and even easier to try to slide it. Okay, that's good to hear. Um, that's not on our agenda yet so maybe maybe next year maybe do you guys think that we can do a live stream to release a new board i think it's a very good way to release new boards on live stream on you know uh, instagram live Okay, um, Dylan, I will certainly think about it. Okay, so next time, next time we will do a live stream to release a new board. We will do that. And we will find a better place to release a new board. Hopefully, um, Early next year, uh, in March or April, we can release the Veranova. The Veranova is actually um, highly anticipated. Do you guys see any other eSkate brands have Instagram Live like we did? Uh, I just want to know if there's any other ESK brands that do Instagram Live with their customer, with their user.
be awesome. Okay. Hi, Jack. I'm not sure if I pronounce it wrong or right. Yes, it will be awesome. Yeah, we will do this. We will try because we have not done live stream to release a new board yet. But I think it's a good idea to you know uh, do live stream to introduce a new board to our collection to our. Uh... Hi, Brian. <laughs> How's it going, Brian? Hi, Brian. How are you? <laughs> Early in Hawaii. 3 a.m. Okay. It's let me let me take a look. It's 5:54 here in China in the evening. Hi Miku, I'm sorry I don't know how to pronounce your name. Hi, how are you? Thank you for coming to this live stream. <laughs> At Varia, we want to get closer with our user, with our customer, to interact with our user, to get some advice from our user. We do this live stream not regularly we hope after my wife give birth to our baby we can do this live stream uh, more frequently and on a regular basis maybe sum up again what's coming up next year for the new guys in a life okay um uh in the uh, next year uh probably in march we're gonna release our uh, Varet Nova. Varet Nova is a 12S4P boosted style board and that board is gonna be getting you guys getting our users more range. It writes like boosted board and also it has a lot of you know uh, modular design. Modular design. How old are you? How old am I? Um, I'm 31. I was born in 1990. Why, why did you ask me my age? Thank you. Thank you, Brian. <coughs> and uh, we also have a new wheel coming. We also have a new wheel coming. I, I remember a few months back, uh, when we last stream on this account, we talk about a uh, a possibility of getting Boosted 105 into production and also uh, install on our boards. Is that's about to come true? We're gonna we are working with our um, our friend uh, Brian to um, bring that into consideration into you know reality so <laughs> that boosted 105 wheels it is very very comfortable for people to ride on and it is very smooth very soft that wheel is only 72a the hardness of the wheel is only 72a it's a that's very soon um, 
we're going to be able to bring that into reality. The production is already ongoing. Big Goo 06, how are you? And that's the Veranova. And apart from Veranova, we have a uh, a twelve as five P board, and that board is uh, gonna come with five thousand milliamp power battery cells. In total, five P is gonna be twenty five amp power, in which is gonna be uh, one kilo watt hour. And uh, in the future, we're going to do live stream to release our new boards. We hope this new way of uh, releasing a new board could be uh, more frequent. And uh, I don't see any other Eastgate company do product release on live stream. So we hope we can be the first Eastgate company to introduce this tradition. Since we're building new boards, uh, we're, design, uh, we're designing and making new boards. If you guys have new advice, have advice or have expectations, you guys can enter on the screen so we can, we can discuss, we can discuss uh, our opinions on them. And maybe we can, you know, uh, Take those advice, follow those advice. <laughs> we have seven people in this live stream. If any of you haven't, you know, uh, if any of you haven't subscribed to this account, please, please make sure to follow the accounts. How long will the deck be on a 12S5P board? Uh, that's gonna be a 38 or 38 up to, I'm not sure um, because our designer is making it, but probably 38. I don't want him to to build a board, you know, very long. But that board is very wide. That's gonna be very wide. And using the carbon fiber to make the enclosure. Lighter or flexi deck and integrated lights. I would love to see it on the next board. Lighter. Okay. If people want long range, then it has to be it. It has to be heavy because we can't make a long range bore uh, with a very, uh, you know, very small weight. Flexi deck. The Nova has flexi deck. Integrated lights. Uh, I see other ESK company uh, work with, you know, with shreds. So maybe we, we can just work with shred lights. And that's easier for us to open new modes for, you know, integrated lights. When will the warehouse be in Germany? We, we have already a 
warehouse in Germany. Uh, we stock very RS and very RS ports in Germany. Uh, that warehouse is already available. I said the same, a flexi variants will be fun, such as an extra option for another board, not too flexy. Flexy like the 82 or Evolve Bamboo. Okay. We currently only have this Varia Nova, which is a flexi deck. And other than that board, we do not have plans to build another flexi board. Does flex really matter? Because I... Not like the original boosted, the Nova should be flexy like the original boosted deck. Vanguard, a GTR style board with flexy like would be a nice addition. Okay. Too much flex can make a board difficult to manage at speed. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Flex in general matters. Yes, flex gives a totally different right feel, but one likes flex and another like a stiff deck. That's, that also makes sense, yes. <sighs> Brian, do you still write, uh, write every morning? How long will it take for the skateboard to come to Czech Republic? Uh, it depends on the way you like it to be shipped. If you want to ship to you by air or by train, it's gonna be, you know, uh, by train it's gonna be like up to two months. By air it's gonna be 20 to 30 days. And uh, we we have some Vera F1 with four M power battery pack in Germany for houses, and also some Vera RS with 20 M power battery pack and three M charger and 120 cloud wheel on the way to Germany. So if you order any of them, it can be three to ten days to your hands as long as the stock is still available in Germany warehouses. Nice. <laughs> because I, have, I don't have the opportunity to ride every day. Right now, my wife is at the final stage of her pregnancy. So I have to take care of her every day. I miss the opportunity to ride outside but makes it way more fun at carving and pumping and gives a nicer ride feel in general but that's why I said as an extra addition so people have options for everyone how is shipping is it more expensive Shipping is crazy. 
before we have to pay like 160, 70, uh, sometimes 150, sometimes uh, 170 for a RS4 to be shipped by air to United States. But right now, because you know the the holiday season is coming, uh, the Black Friday and the Halloween and also Christmas, so uh, the shipping fees is um, more than double. Right now we have to pay uh, two thousand. 2000 RMB, which is uh, over $300 for a RS to be air shipped to United States. This is crazy, and uh, that's why we can only offer uh, free shipping services by train to you know to uh, European countries and also uh, free shipping services by sea to America, Canada, and uh, Australia. We're looking, uh, we, we still have no uh, warehouses partner in Australia. We hope that in the future, in the next year, we can find a partner to do the warehousing for our boards in Australia. Yeah, it's very hard. It's very hard to to uh, run a Eastgate company right now because before, uh, I mean, before the, uh, 2019 in 2019 in uh, before the viral, uh, the coronavirus uh, the shipping is very uh, it was much cheaper much cheaper uh, we, we don't have to stock boards in foreign you know in overseas warehouses the, the air shipping could deliver in about a week in you know um, that kind of shipping time is acceptable for our customers but right now because this COVID-19 is causing a lot of trouble in the shipping industry and also in the supply and chain the supply chain so you know uh, it's very difficult for a small company because you have to stock in overseas warehouses that means you have to uh, take money out of your pockets to stock boards in international warehouses and wait for people to buy to you know to cash cash in you know to to uh, to turn those stock into cash so it is a big test for uh, small Eastgate companies uh, including Varia and I, I, I think it is also a huge challenge for other big companies. <laughs> Supply chain issue are affecting many industries hopefully it will improve next year yes i hope next year the supply chain issue can be resolved and also the shipping cost can you know can decrease before the coronavirus kicks in we only have to pay like 1500 US dollars for a container but right now you have to pay 30000 US dollars for a container so that's a lot of costs going up Mark Steven, how are you? (laughs) 
if you guys have not uh, follow our accounts, please make sure to follow follow us. Okay, good to hear. We have uh, we have uh, new solutions for a one hundred amps ESC. Is uh, we're thinking of maybe we can uh, maybe we can make a board which is running one hundred amps currents continuously on the board. Do you guys think a board that's running one hundred amps currents will sell? I got myself a RS 19.2 in power battery. Okay, um, let, let me tell you this, um, why we replaced the 19.2 in power battery pack. Because the 19.2 in power battery pack uh, is made of the Tesla 4,800 milliamp power battery cells, and those battery cells are made by Sanyong, and Sanyong, and those battery cells are you know uh, flooding in the markets, but there are a lot of fake uh, Tesla battery cells out there, and uh, every time you purchase. You are not sure if you are getting the true or false, uh, the 4,800 milliamp power uh, battery cells. And also the supply is not stable. Uh, sometimes you can get it, sometimes you don't. And um, in the markets, you will see more false battery cells than the true battery cells, the fake the fake battery cells, uh, you know, outnumber the two uh, Tesla 4800 milliamp power battery cells. <laughs> if you are getting, you know, if you are getting the 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 fake 4000 uh, 4800 milliamp power battery cells, it's uh, you build into a board. People can get it, uh, can get the range of over 50 kilometers, uh, you know, first month. And after that, after a few months, then you're gonna, you know, the, the, the range drop could be very significant. So um, we, we have to change because we can't make sure that we can get the, the two cells every time. Because the market is full of fake sales. Heat sink, yes, of course. Um, because we're currently working with a very sophisticated ESC maker, um, is that one is. Uh, you know, able to provide us with 100 amps uh, ESC, and that 100 amps ESC is very solid. We have, you know, uh, people. We have friends who are testing them uh, frequently, and uh, the results are very good. And also, uh, the 50 amps. Yes, uh, the resources are um, getting more and more, you know, uh, 
we we have access to 100 amps ESC, and currently uh, we have a board which is able to run uh, 50 amps, 50 amps continuously uh, for both motor. Uh, one motor take 25 amps, and 100 amps that's going to be 50 amps for one motor, and. Um, I think that's gonna be very, very powerful because for Hurricane, it is only 70 amps. If you are going up like 100 amps, that's gonna be way more powerful. Yes, but sometimes people like more power because you have a few, you know, you have a few speed modes. You don't have to go top speed you don't have to go full speed all the time you you can go like uh you know uh first speed a second speed mode or uh the third now you don't have to go full speed but uh, people always want to 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 talk about their boards that my board is running like you know 100 amps 60 amps with heat sink is more than enough. Okay, uh, yes, 60 amps is, yes, is more than enough. I will DM you, give me Chris, uh, Krishma, uh, Krishna. Nobody is, <laughs> nobody is peeing. <laughs> Love my skateboard. Thank you, thank you. No, it's not constant ESC that runs at 60 amps and then when you put turbo mode, it unlocks the 100 amps current. No, uh, that's a ESC that's able to, to, you know, to support 100 amps continuous, continuously. But it puts a lot of stress a lot of pressure on your battery and also your motor so you have to we have to make sure our motor can take 50 amps uh, single motor motor can take uh, 50 amp not sure 100 is needed currently range is probably more important Insane is the correct word, but to me that's just a bit too much for on the streets. But that's just me, okay? Um, I heard there's some organizations in America that's uh, doing some East Gay racing. Have you guys heard of any uh, of such story? I think Dong has told me in New York people are organizing ESK racing competitions. So I think if people want to join that kind of competition, they need a powerful board, a racing board, like uh, stuff like that. I follow their Instagram accounts. Stooge, Stooge Racing in California. They have this three-link truck, and that's gonna be stabilize, stabilize people's board in high speed, like high speed. Yes.
I'm not sure if it is because I got married and I have a family.、Um, I can't, you know, feared going full speed like、uh, over 50 kilometers per hour after I got married.、Uh, before, before I I got married, I was like,、uh, you know, I don't fear going full speed, going full throttle on my on my board. But after I after I get married, you know, I I don't got the board. I. I Thank you. Welcome to Dead Club. Me and Serena used to ride on our board together.、Uh, Serena in the front of the deck, and me in a in a you know in the back of the deck. We used to ride uh, together uh, in a very you know early stage of her、uh, pregnancy, but. One day she fell off、uh, because we、um, we rode into a a a you know a、um, a very like a pet hole like a hole and then、um, uh, Serena fell off the board and I was very worried because、uh, he was、uh, like three or four months pregnant so.、Um, I think I I I became a bit too careful or、uh, not not able to going full speed full throttle all the time. I was asking Serena to come over and say hi. She was a bit shy. Do you guys have group rides? <laughs> Please say hi, Serena. Uh, Brian, 向你打招呼，嗯，对你说 hi。嗯。Do you guys attend a lot of group rides? I. I'm actually a cur. Um, I'm actually curious about the the regular range for a group rides.、Uh, I'm not sure how how many kilometers you have to ride in a group ride. Will be will it be you know over fifty kilometers? There is a group of people in Shenzhen. They will do group rides every Friday.、Uh, every Friday after ten p.m. Every Friday after ten p.m. and we go、uh, group rides. And that group ride is about、uh, six kilometers a lap. And we, you know. Okay, forty-five kilometers. Hawaii rides are less than thirty k. Thirty. Okay, not very far. <clears throat> I like to go group rides because.、Um, 
a lot of people are riding beside you, and you you can feel it. Uh, you can feel the fun. You can feel people are really enjoying the sport. <laughs> I will teach my kid. Um, I will teach my daughter how to ride a e board after she is born. Many different types of boards with different range capabilities. Yes, exactly. There is a San Francisco group that does 40 miles with different points to charge or exit. Okay, 40 miles, that's crazy. 40 miles, that's 64 kilometers. My God, that's a very long range. That's a very long distance. I don't think there will be many people whose boards can do 40 plus miles. In groups, it is safe because cars don't like to go around you. Yes, that's right. Hello, Johnny. Those are very good ideas, but honestly, Varela is still very small. We do not have the capability to organize races abroad. But hopefully in the future that we can grow to a certain level, then we can, we can organize races. Those ideas are actually, you know, in our minds. Uh, we, Well, Dylan, I have to tell you, I have to be honest with you. We do not have the capability or uh, to to organize a race in United States now, and also in China because in China, uh, you know, uh, there are very few people here uh, who rides electric skateboards I knew that uh, Backfire and X-Way has um, organized races here in China but uh, Varia uh, is a very new brand and we do not have very uh, close relationships with our uh, with those We don't have enough funding to do the race, but I hope in the future that we we can grow in uh, grow to you know big enough and have the capability to come over to the United States and organize a race. <laughs> Dylan, I think you should come to those group rides more often. I don't, I don't see you take part in any group rides. <laughs> yes.
Well, that's a very good idea. Hopefully those indoor karting park races can be, you know, not too expensive. There are none here in Belgium, like I mentioned before. Okay. Electric skateboarding is still a new thing, a new species in a, you know, in a, in, in people's life. A lot of people don't know there is a kind of sport called electric skateboarding. So um, it is still the same here. Um, it is same here. People would turn around when they see this stuff. Yes. Uh, Varia is still a very small operation uh, where we are making, where, you know, um, getting more competent people to join the team to, to uh, make more uh, successful boards and also to sell more boards in America in Amazon we we expand our presence to amazon.com and hopefully we can you know really we have to <laughs> grow grow bigger so that we can promise uh, we, we can you know organize races so far um, we're still very small in yeah those things can, you know, can be planned, can be arranged when we grow bigger in the future. So I think can be arranged, not too expensive to organize races. <sighs> Dylan Bryan, uh, is uh tan diaz uh thank you for coming to this to this live i really appreciate uh your your time and uh, your, your your support along the way um i i have to end this live stream today thank you for coming um I promise, I can promise this, uh, we will do more live stream uh, in the future and to, um, when we have new stuff to release, we will um, do more live stream so that people can um, really interact and to get more information about the company. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you.